Have you ever had your battery die on you and you're like, well, how am I gonna start up this scooter? I'm in the middle of nowhere. Well, there's something called a kickstart or an emergency kickstart that will start your scooter even if your battery is dead. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. So uh, let's get it. Quite a few people might not know that you can start your scooter even if your battery is dead. Usually you start the scooter with the uh, start button back here, but there's a way to start it on the side called an emergency kickstart and I'm going to show you how to do that. Even the smallest scooters or mopeds can be difficult to start uh, if you don't know the proper measures to take place. So I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step process real quick. Let's do it. Uh, first things first. First, you want to locate the kickstart lever, which typically is located to the back left of the scooter at the bottom, right in front of the CVT box, but right next to the center stand. Second step is you want to place the key in the ignition, just as if you were going to start your scooter with the normal way by pressing the start button, but instead you have to use the kickstart but you still want to place the key in the ignition and have it turned in the on position. The third step, just like if you were to start your scooter in the normal position by pressing the start button, you would have to squeeze the brakes. Well, you're gonna to have to squeeze the brakes for to start on the uh, lever as well, the uh, emergency kickstart lever or the kickstart lever. You also have to squeeze the brakes. So you're gonna squeeze the brakes. You're gonna to wanna to open it up to have it in that kickstart position. Now one of the final steps is you're going to want to place your foot on the kickstart, of course. Then you're going to want to press it down in a downward position. Uh, think of it as kind of like a lawnmower. Sometimes it don't just start on the first try when you pull it. You just got to keep pulling it until finally you do, 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 do. it starts. Well, think of your scooter the same way. You might have to do it a couple of times before it starts. And you got to give it enough pressure and speed. So I'm going to demonstrate that for you right here. Now as you're trying to kickstart it and push it down, and, and steady, you know, giving it that kick, kick, kick. You want maybe also give it a little throttle as well. Get that gasoline circulating through that carburetor. You feel me? Also, don't be a da -da -da. Make sure your cure switch is not on. Don't start, do the kick. I don't start, uh, 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 do the kick. Yo, battery dead, I do the kick. I don't start, battery dead, do the kick. Ow! <laughs> Y'all know me, I'm just being silly. <laughs> so yeah, that is how you start your scooter using the kickstart, or some people might use call it the emergency kickstart. It's called the emergency kickstart because you don't want to use it all the time. It's for in case of emergencies, Typically, you just want to start your scooter the normal way, using the battery. But, you know, things happen. Batteries die, yada, yada, yada. You don't want to be stranded in the middle of nowhere. It's like, oh, man, what's wrong with my scooter? It doesn't start. No power. Well, yeah, I just did that for you. I, your girl, gave you that. Know how. Do how. You feel me. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Oh, and that's kind of it. So, I will see you guys on another video in another video. Alright, then bye! Bye bye!